Has it occurred to you that who you friend on Facebook might one day affect the interest rate on your next mortgage or your ability to get one? Well, this day may not be too far away since a number of startups are experimenting with the use of social network data as an input to credit scoring. One such company is Lendo.com. Lendo.com not only uses social network data to determine someone's credit worthiness, but also threatens to notify your social network if you fall behind on loan payments. Other companies are experimenting with the use of social network data inferred from mobile call records to assess credit worthiness in developing countries where people sometimes have absolutely no other financial track record. This paper offers an analytical framework for understanding the rationale and the economic and social consequences of such emerging practices. Specifically, we ask and answer three key questions. First, under what conditions does the use of social network data lead to more accurate signals of someone's creditworthiness? Second, once people become aware that credit rating agencies are using such data, how will they strategically modify their social networks? And third, will peer pressure emerge in such settings? And how will it affect the credit worthiness of individuals and entire groups? Please come to our presentation at CIST 2014 in San Francisco to hear more. If you miss our presentation, or if you cannot wait until then, you can always access our paper from SSRN. I am Chris De La Rocas, Professor of Information Systems at Boston University. This is joint work with Max Way, PhD student at the Economics Department of the University of Pennsylvania, Pinar Yildirim, Assistant Professor of Marketing at the Wharton School of Business, and Christoph van der Bult, Professor of Marketing at the Wharton School of Business.